Welcome to our first video with the new smart board. It is the video on volume. Yay, applause, applause. So, you should have Learn Sheet C in front of you. If you don't have it, pause the video, go get it, glue it in your book, open it up, resume the video when you have it. Now that you have it, you should see a picture of a little unit cube on the top left corner, and there is a fill in the blank. We use unit cubes to measure our waist size is the incorrect answer. The correct answer is, I shouldn't do that. Don't do that line there. Volume. Let's see if that works. That's what we use to measure. Volumes? Hmm. That's a little weird, but we're going to just go for it. Maybe I'll delete the S. Can I do just the S? Get out of here, S. Yes. All right, cool. Next, we're going to do a couple problems right now with your sheet of paper. So you should have shape A. On the board is a picture of shape A. And uh, in this video, you are going to be watching and pausing because I want you to try and answer the questions before you hear me tell you the answers. So I will remind you to pause the video and then resume it when you're ready. So let's start right, right through it right now. In the video, how many blocks tall is the first rectangular prism? How many cubes tall is it? You can see it is, well, let me move, change this, let's see. It is one, two, three cubes tall. So this is how tall it is. It is three units tall. The next question about shape A is, the first regular rectangular prism is blank blocks long. How many blocks wide is it? Well, the way I would look at it is I like to think of the length as going from left to right. That is your length. So this is five blocks long. And therefore, it is four blocks wide. Those should be entered on your learn sheet A. Now, how will we figure out how many cubes are in each layer? How do we figure this question out? Well, I take my four blocks long and my four blocks wide. I know, or I can count the number of blocks on the top. Because each layer is always going to have the same number of blocks in it. I could see that there is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 blocks in the top layer. That means there are 20 blocks in each layer, right? If there, there are 20 cubes in each layer, and there are three layer size, so I can do 20 times 3, and it would equal 60 cubic units. Another way to figure out how many are on each layer is to do 5 times 4, and that would give you a total of 20. Let's go on to shape B now. All right, hi, shape B. All right, there are blank layers and blank unit cubes in each layer. Why don't you pause the video and do that work right now? How many layers are there and how many unit cubes are in each layer? Pause it, write down your answer, and then resume the video. There are one, two, three, three layers in this shape. And how many are on each layer? Well, this is four. And this is four. So each layer has 16 blocks in each layer. I did not ask you on your learn sheet C to figure out the volume. But if you wanted to figure out the volume, why don't you do that right now? You could pause the video before I re reveal the answer. You'll do 16 times 3. And you will get... Whoa, that was a weird one. 48, 48 uh, cubic units. All right, finally, we are going on to shape C for your learn sheet. How many blocks are on the bottom layer? Now, in the bottom layer of shape C. Pause the video before I reveal the answer. 
you can see that this is two and this is two. So there are four. Two times two will give you four. Four blocks are on the bottom layer. And you can see how many layers there are. And you would get three, a total of 12 units. You can do this, Unix cubed. That is the volume. I don't think you'll have any problem with this unit. You've done a great job up until now. So if you understood everything in this video, you are pretty much ready to go for the final part of lesson one. Congratulations.